What's up everybody, OT for Tech here and today we're going to be doing a quick how-to video. I'm going to show you how you can get the Android L experience on your OnePlus One running CyanogenMod 11S. So go ahead and go into the settings on your OnePlus One. Once you're there, scroll down to about halfway. You're going to see a little selection, it's called security. Go ahead and click on that. Once you're in the security selection, go down into where it says unknown sources. Check that little box and click OK. You're just allowing the phone to install applications that don't come from the Google Play Store. Press the back button, go all the way down to about phone, scroll all the way down to the bottom of that, and keep clicking the build number until it says you activated developer settings. Once all that is done, go back to the home screen and you're ready for the next step. The next thing you're going to do is launch Chrome. You're going to perform a Google search. You're going to search for the Google Experience Launcher. In my case, because I've searched for it so many times, it just automatically comes up. But you might have to actually type in the full thing, and if you need to, just pause the video. Scroll down until you see this link right here. Go ahead and click on it. And again, I will put all these links in the description below, so it's going to be a lot easier for you to find everything. Scroll down to where it says the Google Experience Launcher or the Google Experience. You're going to want to click the download link that's available. And go ahead and keep clicking download and launching Chrome. Click OK at the bottom and now you're downloading the file. Once the file is downloaded, pull down your notification bar and click the actual downloaded file. Click install. Once it's installed, click open and then it'll take you through a little process of getting the launcher set up. Once that is all done, make sure you click the home button, click the Google Now Launcher and then click always. What this did was install a Nexus-like launcher on your phone, so when you swipe to the left, you're going to get access to Google Now. Next, take your finger and hold it down on the home screen, go into Settings, then click Voice, then go into OK Google Detection. It'll ask you to give it voice prompts to recognize your voice. Just go ahead and go through those, and then make sure all three of those boxes are checked. Once that is done, we're moving on to the next step. Next, you're going to want to go into the Google Play Store. Then go into the search box and type in Android L Theme. Thanks to Cyanogemod 11S, which supports many different themes, we're going to be able to download the Android L theme. So it's going to give you the experience without having to flash a ROM on your phone. Now you're going to find the Android L theme by Nucleoid. It's about $2.49 or something like that. It's less than $3, but it's well worth the price. So go ahead and pay for it and download it. And once that is done, we're going to have to search for another theme. But again, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to leave the links to all these different apps and things that you're going to need for this process in the description below. The next theme is called L Free for CM11 slash PA. Go ahead and download that, and as the title states, it is free. Next, go back into the settings and go under the theme portion. Find Android L and check all those little boxes that you see under the Android L name. Then click Update. Wait for it to apply, click the back button, Scroll down until you just see the letter L. Click on that. Check the notifications and alarms. And then click update. Wait for it to apply. And you're done. Click the home button. And you can see the actual on-screen buttons on the bottom are different. And the icons are slightly different. They're hardly noticeable though. But you can see that you also have a different wallpaper. But if you want different icons, go back into settings under themes and go back under the L category and click icons. Click update, wait for it to apply, click the home button, and now you can see you have different icons. Now we have to find a keyboard that matches this theme or the Android L experience. So go ahead and go back into the Google Play Store. Go ahead and click on the little search box and type in Android L keyboard. It's very similar to the Google keyboard, except it's going to have that material finish. So it's going to be like a skin version of the Android or Google keyboard. Once you find it, click on it, download it, click the open button, and just go through these steps in the process of assigning that to your main keyboard preference. And as you just saw, that was a quick example of what the material or Android L keyboard looks like. Now we have to download the Google camera. So go back into the Google Play Store and click the search box. Type in Google Camera. You don't have to download this. I just prefer the more Nexus-like experience as well as the Google Camera on my OnePlus One because it just seems to run a little bit better. I can always use the OnePlus One camera for my 4K video shooting considering you can't do that with the Google Camera. And once you download that, I'll go ahead and open it and just show you. It's very, very simplistic and very, very basic. You don't have a lot of settings. If you are crazy about the OnePlus One camera, then you may not want to switch. I'm only showing you how to make this the stock Nexus-like Android L experience. The last thing you're going to want to do is go back into your settings, go all the way down to those developer options that you unlocked in the beginning of this video. Click on those. 
go down to where it says select runtime. Now by default, it's going to say Dalvik, but you're gonna to wanna to select Art. Then click OK. Your phone's going to restart and it's going to update your apps. It's going to go through about a five minute, to three, three to five minute process. Once it's done, you're good to go. And as you see, OK Google works on the home screen, but it also works on the lock screen now. So if you just say OK Google, it's going to give you a Google search. And then you also have the notifications that Android L comes with. The only difference is if you pull down again, it doesn't give you your quick settings. You have to click the little box on the top right to access them. And you can see like your Wi-Fi signal and your basic reception signal are all skinned to be like Android L as well. The only issue I have is when accessing the Wi-Fi settings. As of now, it just simply closes and will not open, but CyanogenMod is aware of this and they say that it will be fixed in the next update. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. This video was actually an idea from one of my followers on Twitter, so a shout out to them and here's his name. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and all your support.